able to pull away late against UAB. What are your takeaways from the game? Well, first of all, Jayla Torrance was awesome. Our starting pitcher gave us a chance to win, and she retired maybe the first eight, and then she had a streak of seven. But I thought her velocity, her location, uh, except for one little spot late in the game, um, I thought she was terrific. Defense played well behind her, and then we just got enough hits. Um, you know, we had a bunch of hits. We just didn't get that big hit. And um, obviously, 7 to nothing is a good score. Um, but I was pleased overall. Going back to Jada's performance, you know, a midweek game, not always going to be able to pitch your ace. How important is it to have someone behind you? Oh, it's huge. You know, yeah. In this day and age in softball, you have, you have got to have a staff. And we're really lucky that we do. And, you know, Jayla, shoot, she was throwing 70 miles per hour this fall. And I didn't, I didn't catch the scoreboard tonight or what her uh, uh, velocity was, but I thought she was humming in there really well. And, you know, she can do that against teams. She did, she, re, she was really, really good this weekend in Louisiana, made the all-tournament team. And, you know, we kind of gave her as a reward for the start tonight because she earned it. That was good night, able to get on base a lot, and flying around the base. Just how important is her speed in being able to manufacture runs when maybe you can't find that big hit? Well, four for four, and you know she got a triple, and she drag bunted for a nice hit. Um, she's truly a triple threat. So she can swing away, she can slap, and she could uh, drag bunt for a hit. And you saw all three tonight, really. Um, she got a hit with all three weapons, and um, when she gets on base, she's tough to defend against.